Hi, and welcome to Ask B. Now, I need to apologise today because I'm suffering from a bit of a cold, so I'm going to sound super muffled and probably a bit sniffly, so apologise in advance. Um, I've literally been taking hot lemon, night nurse, day nurse, all the paracetamol <laughs> and hyperprofen I can get my hands on. Um, it's typically one of those things that you contract from the office. Um, but this week I really wanted to talk about how to cope with feeling overwhelmed with life. Um, it's something I've experienced this week so I thought it was a fantastic topic to talk about. Um, it's basically one of those weeks where I feel like life has been running at me rather than running alongside me. Um, and it's literally been like it's been against me. Um, which we've all had weeks and days like that. So I thought I'd discuss with a few of the, you with a few of the I can't talk, it's this cold. Um, a few of the things that I use to kind of ground me and bring me back down to earth. Um, so one of the first things I always do when I'm having a bad day or a stressful week is actually just accept it. Um, usually I have a pity party, so if I've have, had a really stressful day, um, I literally just get home, get my comfies on, probably dig out some of the chocolate that I've hidden away, um, watch an episode of Modern Family and just kind of wallow. Um, that may sound really unhealthy, but sometimes it's really good to accept how you're feeling um, and kind of deal with those emotions. Um, you know how we always say it's really good to have a good cry? Well, it's exactly the same with sometimes when you're feeling stressed. Sometimes you just need to kind of find those things that comfort you and bring you back down to feeling like yourself. Um, so I always just kind of let it be sometimes. Um, but if you're kind of not wanting to do that, the other thing I always do is just get home um, and as my partner calls it take five <laughs> so I literally just kind of lay on the bed and have five minutes and just breathe and just relax and just kind of let it all wash over me so that I feel a bit better um, and actually that really helps and sometimes I just do that when I'm feeling generally overwhelmed not even if I'm feeling stressed if I just need five minutes because I'm feeling a little bit like something's getting on top of me I'll just take myself away to a quiet space and just have five minutes of meditation and just breathe and focus on my breathing and bring myself back. Um, so that's one of my favourite ones. Um, another thing that I really love doing is having a really deep hot bath and um, preferably, prefer I can't see, I can't talk, preferably with a big lush bath bomb um, because it's just feels so good and all those um, essential oils just naturally help to stimulate your relaxation so that's something I absolutely love um, if I don't have the luxury of lush I sometimes just put loads of essential oils in the bath like um, some lavender and even chamomile tea if you haven't got a chamomile bath um, bomb that's got chamomile in it that's really good some chamomile tea bags in the bath is really good um, again, it's another way to relax and unwind. Um, so there are a few little tricks. Um, the other thing that is really good that I always love doing is going for a walk. So I'll get home, get in my comfies and go for a really long walk. Um, I'm really lucky around here because we have lots of beautiful long walks. Um, and what I often do just to make me feel um, like I'm kind of there in the moment and not thinking about work is I'll feel the bark of the tree or bit, like look at the leaves on the ground and just kind of take it all in like take lots of deep breaths and think about where I am um, I know I'm a major hippie for saying that and I, I would probably hug a tree if I could <laughs> I need to apologise because my face looks disgusting today this is what happens when you've got a cold you just come out disgusting horrible um, anyway, enough about that. Um, so the other thing that I've really got into recently is yoga. Um, because obviously yoga is all about bringing your mind and your body together. Um, and if you've been really stressed out at work and you're kind of up here and really stressing out, then yoga can just bring you back down with that breathing and all the, the movement. It's so gentle on your body. I have spent years doing half marathons, mar like 
obstacle course marathons, ridiculous things like putting my body through the absolute wars um, and now it kind of hates me <laughs> and I'm really stiff and unflexible so um, yoga has actually been something that is a bit difficult for me just because I haven't done it for such a long time, I've never done that kind of movement but I'm really enjoying it and I'm really enjoying how it makes me feel and how conscious it makes me of how my mind and my body feels. So I would highly recommend it, even just um, some time in the morning or the evening, um, a, a, just a 30 minute practice can really make all the difference. Um, and the other thing that I know that I've talked about previously but I'm a massive believer in is writing it all down. So find out what's stressing you or overwhelming you or frustrating you and write it all down. Um, it's it, We always joke about having a diary as if we're like some kind of 10 year old writing about our childhood loves um, but really writing it all down is a great way of finding out and identifying exactly the issue that is upsetting us um, and I always do this because that way you can really understand exactly what's frustrating you and accept it or find a solution to it um, and that's one of the probably one of my biggest things that I practice so that's kind of six things that I do to make me feel less like life hates me. Um, hopefully it's helpful and I've passed a few little tips on to you. Um, if you've been feeling overwhelmed and you found anything that's really helpful, please put a comment below. Um, the more tips and tricks we can put out there, the better we should all hopefully feel and the less stress we should feel. Um, I have also written a detailed blog about some of these points as well so if I didn't sound clear enough because I'm a cold mess um, please feel free to read that as well in a bit more detail. So I hope that's helped and as I said have a wonderful weekend and a great week ahead. Thanks for listening. Bye!